try to try to training becomes very boring. I mean, I've been doing this thing for like two decades, guys. It's I I used to just just mess up on purpose. I'm not joking, man, because I was so bored. I was like, okay, let me see if I can fuck around with this stock to see if I can push it around. And it's got you know, when, making money, guys. Actually, it's very boring, very systematic. So. As human beings, we like to be in the action all the time, but that's how we get in trouble. I mean, how, how often do you lose hundreds, if not thousands, every day just bleeding because of entertainment? Right, guys? And that's because we're bored in life. That's because trading has, you know, you do this for a while, guys. As with any job, trading is a job. Uh, you may, we may love what we do, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's a job. Um... And it gets boring. Every job gets boring. I don't care what it is. It's just we're very blessed to do what we do, but it's still a monotonous job. If we do our jobs right, it's boring as hell, guys. Right? If you are a robot, it's boring as hell. And so, how do you how do you fix, fix your mind so that you can continue to keep doing what you love, but not get burnt out? This is the struggle that Alex and I have been doing for a long time. It's kind of like we we love what we do, but then we get so burnt out because we we devote everything every time every free time we're passionate about what we do i i am there at night in the after hours alex wakes up super early so i'm on the west coast alex is on the east coast and so you know we, we pretty much have 24 hours coverage right uh alex wakes up at 5 a.m over there which is geez like 2 a.m where i am then when i go to sleep he wakes up sometimes right so um so how do you not get burnt out the, 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 making money, I'm telling you guys right now, making money is not that difficult. It's not that difficult if you have the discipline. Imagine if I told you guys, if if you want to become a millionaire, go be, go to law school, go become a doctor, go become an engineer, and work for a, a startup that's going to give you stock options. I have a lot of friends that work for startups and now they're very rich. Um, but that takes time. Right, that takes a lot of energy, a lot of work. So, it's it's easy only if you have the discipline to do it. So, if you have the discipline, you can do anything you want to do. So, apply that to trading, guys. I don't think there's any other profession in the world where you can make as much as you make in one hour, like Alex and I. I mean, today I made a few thousand bucks, and I'm like, but I'm I'm like I'm pissed. You know, I gave up a thousand bucks just kind of messing around because it's not enough. Every day is like not enough money because I'm sitting around on board all day. And so we're trying to find, yeah, I'm trying to find things which excite me so that I don't end up treating my profession, treating my job, which trading is. Trading education is my job. Treating as entertainment. So you have to distinguish between entertainment and and a career. So that's the first step, guys. So the first step I want you guys to go back and think about is, okay, am I trading? Do I want to trade for a profession or for entertainment? It's like going to Vegas. You know, I go to entertain uh, Vegas to gamble for entertainment. If you think you're there to make money, you're fucking wrong. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the edge of the house is way stacked against you. But, you know, if you do go for entertainment, you know... It's for fun. You're not going to put your life savings on. It's the people that that can distinguish the two. They, they want to go make money. That's the people that lose money. Same thing with trading, guys. Okay? I am trading right now for entertainment. And sometimes that's the problem. And that's why I fuck up. I lose. I don't really give a damn because the money I lose is, is insignificant to me. Because I've made enough money where, you know, even losing a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred, five hundred bucks, two hundred bucks a day bleeding my gains away it doesn't really affect my life it sucks when i think about it if i add it up and go dude i'm losing like probably 100 grand a year off of entertainment of sticking around and saying oh okay i only lost 500 bucks a thousand dollars back right but if you add that up five dollars every day is someone's income so the first thing you have to understand with training is this are you doing this for entertainment gambling or you want to really make it work the moment i found out that hey i can actually do this for a living which is a profession right i'm doing this as my career that was that is the time that i started to actually study not gamble and work my ass off there was a point in my life 
There was a point in my life where I didn't take a vacation for like two, three years. Not a single day off, guys, for years. Because I, I was so bad. And I dressed like shit. I didn't go shopping. All my money I made went right back into the markets. I'm trying to build my rank bankroll. Okay? And I'm going to recap how I started. Same thing. So I was an engineer. I made decent money as an engineer, but I hated what I did. It, it was very good. I was so passionate. But then when you reach a, when you reach a certain level, it's kind of like, okay, what do you have to do next? I didn't want to work any harder, and so they, and so I start, I, you know, I, I started to learn to day trade, and I loved day trading, and I started day trading, and I started losing money because I thought it was entertainment. The moment I realized that, hey, I can actually beat the system, that I can make money pretty much every single day, it's only when I fuck up that I give back all my gains. So I would, so in the beginning, the, the hardest thing to, the hardest hurdle to overcome as a day trader, guys, is make money for five days straight, and then the next day you lose all of it back and then more. How often does that happen? And that pretty much I figured out the secret of day trading is risk management. In life, and everything is risk management. You can go party your ass off, okay? Drink as much as you want, but you have to have risk management of your life. If you over drink, you will get too drunk, you get DUI and all that shit. Same thing with trading. There's a limit to everything. So when you go out, you have to put the risk parameters in. I know I will get silly drunk, so I don't drive. I take an Uber. But should I ban these guys? Here, I'm going to ban these guys. And anybody that speaks in like these weird Iranian or Arabic, I'm going to block them all. Hide. I don't know if they're real or not, but I'm just going to hide them. So all these weird things. So, so in life, guys, you always have to risk men. If you want to go out on a weekday knowing that you will go to work tomorrow, you have to set your stop loss. <laughs> go home. That's your stop loss. Let's say you don't go home. Okay? Because people cancel their stop loss. I happen to have another drink. And so you pay the price. If you if you cancel your, your risk management, just like in stocks, and you defeat the system, you're going to lose. I have one more drink. I just messed up my stop loss of my life, right? So now, fuck, I'm going to have only three hours of sleep. So... In trading, guys, this is a thing I never knew existed, right? Until until MIC uh, is max daily loss set at the broker level. That is what saves everybody's account right now, guys. At MIC, and this is something that no other service will ever tell you because they don't know this shit. Other services don't believe in stop losses. They don't believe in. They, some other service calls it training wheels. That's so fucked up, right? Training wheels. But everybody has a bad day, guys. When you have a bad day, do, do not make it a, a life ender. Just like when you get drunk. When you get drunk, don't fucking get DUI. Don't end up in the hospital and kill someone. So you have to mitigate your risk so that you don't end up there. Stop losses are fine. You get, you, people break that. But you need a fence to stop you from killing yourself. Because we're all humans. If we can get away with it, we will get away with it. Okay, I'm going to start uh, blocking all these guys. What are they saying, by the way? Is there anybody can read this stuff? So, stop losses. Once again, you set your stop loss just like your life. Okay? Meaning like, okay, I'm going to have a DUI. So, a hard stop for me is, is not driving. But... You know what? Not driving, but I can still get drunk and then pass out and die or somewhere. So you always need to have a max daily loss on your life. And that's where a tab comes in, guys. I'm telling you right now. I, you know, there, I, Me and Alex have been trying to figure out how to prevent people from blowing up all these years, right? And we came up with stop, stop losses, which, okay, people use that. But the main thing, there's two things, guys. There is a technical, technical, like the law. Like, I, man, I would go and... People would go steal, not me, but people would go steal and rob you unless there was a policeman. So that is like having a, a max daily loss. The broker, you tell the broker, I do not want to lose more than $500 today, every day. That's like telling the police, okay, you break the law, you go to jail. So, but at the end of the day, you can still get away with it. <laughs> you know, there's many ways to circumvent that. You can call them up, you can do whatever. So the way to combat human emotions is to get a tab. Trade accountability, buddy. So Alex and I, we check up on each other. If I go quiet, Alex knows, you know, but, you know, sometimes I still lie to Alex and say, hey, I'm doing fine, you know, but I'm stuck in a stock, I'm trading a zombie hour, things like that. So you have to know yourself. And so a way to trick that, so one of our moderators, his name is On, 
He's a doctor. He's a freaking smart guy, but he he has disciplinary problems. He's disciplined because he makes so much money being a doctor. It's just like our other doctor guy, Vic. That has no self control, and so he would make money and lose money back because he trains zombie hour being rules. So he, he p- implemented uh, uh, like now his wife is involved. His wife is now his tab. His wife calls him up a zombie. Like, what the hell are you doing? You better not be fucking trading. And so he implemented another one, Max Daily Loss, which he has. But Max Daily Loss would be, he tells his secretary, physically come and pull the cable out of my computer. Because I cannot help myself. I am a junkie. I cannot help myself. And based upon just those simple things, he is. they are both so fucking profitable now. Because they have figured out what their issues are that prevents them becoming successful. And I'm telling you, this is trading mirrors life. Okay? If you're partying too much, drinking too much, you need to figure out how to prevent you from even getting there. So an example is this. Before you blow up during zombie hours, you shouldn't be trading during zombie hours. How do you prevent that? You prevent that by pulling the cable out of your computer, having someone physically come and take the cable so you cannot trade. Don't install the app on your phone. Things like that. So you need to do preventative measures, guys. I'm telling you right now. And our tab program is so successful. There are big, big prop firms now copying our model. Uh, I don't need to tell you the names, but it was during the Traders for a Cause. And when I heard that, I was like, you know what, man? That's pretty cool. We have done something that the big trading world has taken notice and is applying. Same thing with the zombie role. So, a bunch of little misfit kids like Alex and I created great programs like the tab and the zombie rule. Now everyone's using it. Uh, you know, there's, and so, in trading, guys, in trading, it mirrors life. And I'm telling you right now, discipline is the number one reason where, why people become successful in life as well as trading. It's not because how smart you are. People think it's always about being smart. It's not about being smart, guys. It's about having a routine. Every successful person has a daily routine. They don't wake up and wing it. They, they're they very rig- regiment driven. Okay? So the, just like the army, if you have a disciplinary issues, maybe sometimes you have to sign up for the military service. They will teach you discipline. Okay? And so that's the first step in life, guys. I'm telling you right now. Before you become a successful trader, I always tell everybody this. Get your life in order. If your life is in chaos, so will your trades be in chaos. Um... So, I mean, I, I, sometimes you have to move away from a bad situation. Sometimes, you, have, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're friends, are you... So, so I, I'm moving because, you know, I want to surround myself with different types of environment. So, the last place I, I, I lived at, it was a really great place, but it was, <laughs> it was known as a trap house. Meaning, the building itself was known to be the, one of the biggest, like, drug dealing buildings out there. Um, and people were selling weed. There were three guys who were shot. I saw blood on the elevator. Uh, if you remember a few years ago, Alex, um, there was a SWAT team that came to my apartment looking for the fucking shooters. It's insane, dude. And a SWAT team surrounded our building. And this is the most luxury high-rise building in Southern California, too. But it was dominated by a bunch of drug dealers. Because like, How can anybody afford it down there? So I moved now to this environment where the people here actually have you know, jobs and money or whatever the hell it may be, right, so guys? So sometimes you have to physically move yourself from the party situation if you want. They're still partying here, but it's not it's, a, it's not where I live. You know what I'm saying? Over there is basically where I live. There's all these drug dealers and all that stuff, which is exciting at the time, but, you know, it doesn't really help me for my own career, right, and my own sanity. Let me scroll through these. Uh, there's a lot of these... Um, I'm gonna hide if if you're typing in in Sanskrit or whatever. I'm I'm just because I don't know if they're a bot. Most of these are bots, guys. So let me show you around. In the let me show you around. Uh, some of you probably could figure out where this is. I don't really care nowadays because it's super high security here. Um, So I moved to a very secure building now. And right by the, you know, this is pretty cool. So, you 
Yeah, if you know where I live, keep it to yourself. Those that... <laughs> Sanskrit. <laughs> Is that what they call Sanskrit? Alex? <laughs> I don't know, what is it, Farsi or what? what's the language? Yeah, if you got, okay, I'm going to give you a little advice, guys. I'm going to give you a little advice on um, etiquette. If you know where people live, don't dox them. Don't tell people where you, they live. It's, don't ask people where they live. Don't say that, hey, man, you're, I'm right next door. Can I come over and hang out with you when I don't know you? Things like that, guys. Yeah, I almost fell in the pool. So these are just kind of like motivation for me, guys. Seriously, I get so bored doing the same thing. So I'm like, dude, I'm gonna just try moving to a new place just to, you know, just to see. So the first step, guys, I'm telling you, man, you're like Alex said yesterday on his IG live, your your office is your sanctuary. If if you work from home, so you know, I I I spend as much money as I possibly can afford, um, without being stupid, obviously on places I live on my office because it, dude I work at home Alex works at home we're at home pretty much like 20 hours a day right guys I, yeah Alex I'm just I'm something new man you know like I've been doing this thing for a long time man and and to be honest I've sacrificed my entire life for other people and I never really lived where I want to live so I'm like dude you know I, I'm pretty frugal actually besides I'm pretty frugal on myself as you know uh, but I'm very generous to everybody else so sometimes, you know what, man, you have to basically live life for yourself at some point. But you, you, but I deserve this now. It's different, you know. This is like I've done what I needed to do. I'm still helping people, and I believe in karma. Uh, if you do good, good things will happen to you guys. Um, I'm telling you, man. I, me, and Alex is a success story in terms of you don't have to be an asshole to get ahead in life. You know, you don't have to be an asshole. To be successful you don't have to be an asshole to make money you can still be a good person get fucked over and you know what man my philosophy is if you fuck me over that's your loss and i hope you fuck me over early then later my friends my god man you imagine like uh before i <laughs> before mic man I, I would never have started mic unless some people but it doesn't matter my point being is like you know what man things happen for a reason people come together alex and i and tosh and everybody else so you know we build a great community where you know, uh, who, who's in MIC? Tell everybody, how's the community? It's, I mean, I'm not here to sell anymore. Uh, we we don't have a monthly option anymore, guys, so not, there's nothing to sell. But if you want to join as an annual, um, uh, hit up Tosh, guys. Hit up Tosh. Uh, we really don't need any more people, actually. We, we, we are turning people away. People want to join as a monthly. We say no, go somewhere else. Um, and today, I'll give you an example. Today, someone paid... Fifth, we found out they joined today. They were the last person that joined as a monthly when we cut it off um, on the $99 special, no less. And, there, and then they asked a question. Alex responded. Alex and I responded. He goes, oh, my God, you replied to us. You replied to my, my, my question in main chat so quickly. Um, and he's surprised. I'm like, why are you surprised? Were other services that you joined in? No reply. He goes, no, nah, dude. And he, I found out, we found out that he paid $1,500, $1,500 for three months at some other service that did not reply to him. He goes, dude, it's horrible. You guys are, and, and all he paid was $99 for the first month, guys. He got in on the last special. So uh, now we don't sell those monthlies because to be honest, like, dude, it's, I, we, we, this is not a money grab, guys. We want people to learn and to, to an annual is actually a better deal that we had before we raise our prices on purpose so that it filters out people at the same time it's like dude we're looking at these other competition and i think they're paying fifteen hundred dollars for three months because they 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 think it's better because it costs more think about it you go and you go to a store and you see two items and you're like hmm you know let's say you're looking for cleaning products there's two two cleaning products and you have no clue what they do but one is fit only 50 cents more and you're like, hmm, this must be better. It's 50 cents or a dollar more. It must be better. So you end up buying that product, even though, you you know, both of them work exactly the same. So that's just the human mentality. You know, it's the weirdest thing. But you know what? We, we, we are tired of being the person that they paid $1,500 to for three months. And, the, and then they have a lousy experience and they come to us after they lose their money. So, so you, you, I'm telling you guys right now, man, you guys are... 
the guys that are not in a current, current um, service are very lucky. You're not learning bad habits, all that. And if you want to join, uh, you're going to have to join as, a, as an annual person through Tosh. Okay, guys? We raise our price significantly, but but maybe Tosh will give you a discount today since we're doing the IG Live and stuff. So hit up Tosh, man. Uh, if you don't know how to hit up Tosh, go to the website, uh, myinvestingclub.com. So, yeah, dude, I mean, uh, Amos, he's been around for, hey, let me bring on Amos, man. You're like one of the original OGs, man. Amos, man, he's was original OG back in the day, and it was a long time. He's been a member for a long time, man. I'm trying to bring on Amos here. I hope it works. All right, whoa, bow, brother, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, dude, how dude, it's been like at least three years, right? Since dude, I it's, see been, you. it's been three years. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Dude, last time we saw you was at the club. At <laughs> the club in in uh, where was that, dude? Oh, Brooklyn shit. Mirage. Oh, dude! <laughs> oh all my goodness! Up. <laughs> I, I stopped. I stopped clubbing. I stopped partying and drinking. So it's it's been a long time, but I, I remember so, that day. So tell everybody who you are. And how's going? How's it going, man? Because, I mean, you've been a long-time member, man. You went through a lot of hardships and stuff, right? So I hope things are better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I joined MIC when you guys first started, I think, in 2017 or 2018 when you guys first started. Um, I, I wasn't very successful back then. Uh, I didn't have a job, and I thought, I thought MIC and trading was going to be, like, my, my saving grace out. But then I, I remember you had, like, a life coaching video, and then you talked about – how, um, you know, it's probably better that I get my life in order first. I take care of my family. I take care of myself. I take care of, uh, you know, do what I got to do first. And then you guys are always going to be here. So don't worry. Like trading is always going to be here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. I mean, I heard that like before, but then from, from other people, but then like coming from you, it just like, I felt it more in my heart. So I did that. Uh, I, I got my resume. I, I applied to a bunch of different banks. And then I started working at Bank of America. I got a job there. I worked there for about 10 months. Uh, I just saved up, like, all my money. I took care of my mom, my dad. I, I awesome. Quit. Are you still working there? No, no, I quit. I'm, I'm full-time day trading now. This is my oh, full-time shit. job. Full -time <laughs> oh, yeah, damn. Yeah. You, 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 you took a big leap. But that, but that was good. You know, what, you know what, Amos, you did well? Because a lot of people think that trading is, will save their life. Whatever issues they have will save their life. But yeah. when your life is in chaos, your trades will be in chaos. So you yeah. did exactly right. So a Amos took a few months off and he got a job. And dude, he's a totally different person now. He stopped. He stopped partying. He stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you were raving like every week, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I, I I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with you at the next meetup because like, oh my god, I got my face gets red. I get Asian flush. So I might just no, stay with water. I'm, I'm slowing down. So. Okay, so tell us. So this is what people really want to know, okay? Because I'm telling you, you're the extreme case. You, 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 you just quit your job, and well, you, yeah. you, you, you made enough money where you took your took care of your personal issues, right? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, and and so, how is it trading now that you are there? Because trading without a job when you're yeah. starting out is very difficult and stressful, right? Yeah. Uh, so tell us how you make it work. Are you living with your parents? I live with my parents. Yeah, thank God. I live with my parents. So I'm still, um, man, I don't got to pay rent or anything. But uh, I would say my how I did it was I never did paper trading. I just started small, like small size. I would do like 10 shares, 20 shares. That's, that's good. Yeah. And, and and then, them, yeah. yeah and, and then like I, like what you guys say every day, you don't have to trade every day. Just watch price action. Just sit in front of the screen. Um, read Alex's watch list read Tom's watch list and then just really just read the, the main chat commentary and, and take notes. Um, go search up anything I don't know in the video library. Uh, after that, then maybe, you know, then I can start DMing, uh, uh, you know, um, any of the mods to ask them questions or post it in after hours if, if, uh, if I'm not sure what's going on. So, yeah, that's, that's basically how I did it. And then I just, you know, I stuck to what I knew would, um, 
would be most consistent. So I just stuck to low hanging fruit. Oh, so you're shorting low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You're you're avoiding the, the day one low float bullshit, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I lost oh my god, I lost so much money uh shorting front side day one. Uh in the beginning and then also going long. Oh man, that was I stopped doing that and I just I just stuck to a low hanging fruit for day two. So how are you trading now by, by limiting all of the risky trades? Are you consistently profitable now? I, I, I would say so uh, for, for now, knock on wood, uh, <laughs> for now, you know, so um, I, I did what you guys said. I, uh, during zombie hours, I stopped trading or, or like I will size down to maybe like one tenth size if, yeah, if yeah. you know, anything's there. Um, set a max daily loss. Uh, I, I, I use, uh, what is it called? Like, market market stop loss like trigger orders so all, yes, every yes. time every time i set a fantasy limit order um automatically my my market stop loss goes in with that so dude um, that that is uh, awesome you see guys he create a system where he's not gonna blow up anymore because it's automatically has a stop loss in there yeah yeah so i don't even have to think about it because I, I know me i think harry said on one of his uh videos like he's really stubborn and then uh I, i'm like really really stubborn too and yeah I need to admit that but like it just sucks. So, cause I I would take so many losses, um, and I would never stop out. I would always be like, okay, at the next line, let's see what happens at the next line, and then I just yeah, cause you always out. think like you always think like, hey, this is it, this is it, this, this is gonna pay off, and then yeah. next you know like, oh my god, I should have just taken the loss like an hour ago. Um, yeah, are you, you you are you using a you have a max daily loss set of the broker? Yeah, yeah. I recently just uh, switched over to. Uh, to Cobra and uh, you know, I'm really excited, really happy to be with them. So, um, so that's awesome, man. So you're doing all the right things that we taught you. Basically the risk management is, was the key difference, right? The key difference maker is the risk management. That, that was the risk management is like, I think, I think it's like game changing as a, as a trader because no one really, uh, some people talk about it, but they just don't emphasize it as, as much. They, as they, they, they don't know how to. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, 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 because you know what, man, the guys that, in my opinion, anybody don't talk about risk management, I guarantee you they're not a good trader. They're not a successful long-term trader because they, yeah. they're, they're winging it, gambling. I mean, every, if you talk to every trader who's been trading for 10 years, the key is to not blow up, like to not let one bad loss wipe out everything. And that's, yeah. And that's why I, my Alex and I keep a small balance in our account. <laughs> you know, I mean, even at, even at my level, our level, doesn't matter what level, we 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 from time to time, fuck up. Yeah. And yeah. when we fuck up, man, I don't want to be fucking up with a million dollar account, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> Seriously, I, I I don't know I don't know how some people are able to have like so much discipline and self control trading that much money, that much size account, because I, I know if I had that in my account, it just, it'd probably be a nightmare. And my, my own trading would probably suffer as a result of that. So I'm like, I'm just more comfortable trading like much smaller size, much smaller account. And um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at and just being a part of the community. Like everyone in the community is really helpful. Like if you post something in after hours or you DM someone, they, they get back to you right away. So it's, um, it's just great. So, so, okay. So to recap, man, this is a true success story. I'm telling you, Amos, I, I was rooting for you, but I didn't know you're going to make it, bro. Because, because you know what, man, you had so much stuff going on in your personal life yep. that I'm like, dude, you have to take care of your personal life because it's going to translate. So I'm telling yeah. everybody out there right now, guys, a part of the, a part to be a good trader, you have to, your mind has to be at ease, right? You have to not worry about, if you have to worry about paying the rent, you are going to force trades and you're going to, have to trade correctly because you're scared. You're going to force it. The rent is due. So Amos did a great thing. Move home, stay at home, no rent. So if you're serious about trading, guys, you reduce your spending per month so that you don't have <coughs> like stresses from paying bills. So there's two ways to do it. Okay. If you want to start trading guys, number one, which is I recommend to most people <coughs> is to have a job. Have a job which supplements your trading so you don't have to worry about it during the time you learn. Amos was fortunate he has a family that he can move into so that you don't have to pay rent and things like yep. that. And so, yep. but Amos did. What he did was he went back to, to work to save every single penny so that he can live his dream now. 
And now that that he worked so hard for three years, man, to make this happen, he's 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 he decided I'm not gonna fuck up again. I'm gonna use hard stops. I'm gonna listen to risk management. I'm gonna put the fences like I told you, right? So it's kind of like a guy that's driving. You know, I do not want another DUI, things like that. Because yeah. all all traders guys have DUIs. Not I'm, uh, DUIs is a uh, metaphor. Um, I'm talking they they blew up before. Okay, in life, yeah. a DUI like you. If you had a DUI in life, you pretty much blew up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could kill kids. I, I know you're you fucked, mean. man. Um, a lot of jobs won't even hire you. You have a DUI because that's that's just bad discipline, right? And so, and if you have a DUI, you cannot go to Canada for 12 years, uh, Japan, things like that. A lot of countries that do not want people like that. And so you screw up your life significantly by having a DUI. Say, so I use that as an example. If you, it, it's okay to fuck up one time, seriously like that. But if you do it again, guys, it's kind of, so Amos, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm very fucking happy and proud of you that you, you changed your life around. And it, this is a good success story, but guys, the last time I saw Amos was at 3 a.m., at a rave club, we we're all fucked up. Alex was there, Toss was there, and we we turn around. Is that Amos? <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yep, yep. And and you know what, man? You you cut. I'm so proud of you, bro. You came a fucking such a long fucking way, man. And so, what is your? Let's let's. Uh, do you have a tab? How how do you how do you plan to keep going and progressing? What's your uh, plan now that you, you know, you got here? Uh, I, I don't have a, a, a tab per se, but I like whenever I need to talk to someone, I just DM them in, in chat. So I, I guess I could use a tab, you know, or be a part of a tab group. Um, I guess the, the plan, like, like my, my, my mindset, when I thought about it, I listened to what Alex said and what you guys, and what you said as well. It's like, I'm okay with investing, uh, a year, two years, three years to study, my ass off and just work really hard and then pretty much the rest of my life will be like it'll be great uh you know it'll be i'll have everything i wanted you know i'll be able to take care of my family my friends um so, that's just how i look at it you 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 notice how how now it's it's not difficult to make a few hundred bucks yeah right the yeah. difficulty is being okay with making just two hundred dollars <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right? Because yeah. you're like, I'm up two hundred, I'm on five hundred, I'm up five and one thousand. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. and then true. you're like, Oh shit, I should just stop. <laughs> yeah, and, and being like just like stupid, like when when I know I should take a loss and then I keep adding to a loser uh and not cutting it, that's that's one of the things that I'm trying to work on right now. Correct. Is, um man, it's like I, I know to do it, uh to cut my losers and not keep adding, um, not keep scaling. And then only add to a winner. But then, like, when it actually comes time to do it, I'm like, wow, this is pretty tough to, like, execute in real time while trading. So Yeah, it's the mental discipline. This is why I'm trying to figure out, you know, you're using the hard stops, which is great. The trigger orders is awesome. Maybe uh, now, maybe you're ready for a tab. Who knows? You know, it doesn't hurt. If, if I'm telling everybody out there, okay, you, you find a tab. A tab could be your friend. Like, it, it becomes your trading partner and friend in the club, right? Uh, if you don't like your tab or you don't get along – or it doesn't work out for you, find a new tab. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, this is not a, this is not like a marriage where you're fucked. <laughs> so, you know, this yeah. is, you, you, it's like polygamy marriage. You can have as many as you want. <laughs> and so a lot of times the tab, I, I find that more eyes are better than one because what happens is like in the morning, like Alex and I, we share a list of like what stocks, which goes on the watch list anyways. But then, you know, there's plays that I see that he doesn't see and vice versa. And so yeah. sometimes it's good. Yeah. And then you share. So part of the tab, all I need to know is, okay, what stocks, what stocks looks good to you? Make right. sense? And so if, right. if a stock looks good to me, but doesn't look to Al good, look to, look, looks good to Alex, I'm going to find out why. And I'm like, oh my God, you're right, man. I didn't realize it was low float. I didn't realize it was this, right? Yeah. And then, and, and also, so, and also, okay, now that we decided on the same place, what are the lines? So then you run back and forth. Oh, this is a lie. Oh, I didn't see this. I didn't see that. I'm too early. Things like that. So having a tab actually helps you with your process to make sure that you are doing the steps that you should be doing as well. Not skipping yeah. steps because you are responsible for one another. So I, in all my years, I'm telling you right now, man, trading alone is the most boring, lonely thing. And you screw up because you there's a saying, it's like uh, idle hands are the devil's 
uh, playground. Idle hands are the devil's playground, which means like when you're bored, what should I do? I'm going to drink. <laughs> I'm going to go party. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, with trainings, it's bad. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to nibble here. <laughs> I, was, oh, I, yeah. I was just going to say like that, uh, that. That's one of the things when I saw it during the, the boot camp this year was that uh, when you and Alex were trading together, it just like, it was a lot of fun like being on that boot camp. Like it just looked like you guys were having a great time. And I'm like, no wonder these guys on Reddit get on Wall Street bets and are all like trying to go to the moon because like, I don't know, it's just yeah, like they, they, they want to feel like they're part of a community and all that because you know. So so it, it, our tab program is so we are the first to start it and it's so fucking awesome. Where I, I'm I'm very proud, Alex, that one of the biggest the prop firms out there is using and you know they call it something different, but they launched it during a trade room closet. So it works, right. guys. Right. You know, so Amos. Uh, Alex, who is the new um, tab manager? How how can people in MIC get a tab? Because uh, Woody, Woody is the manager, but uh, uh, I think it, it's too much work. <laughs> so you know, I don't blame Woody, man. There's a lot of work. We have we now have thousands of people. So yeah. Um, so if you want a tab, guys, uh, how do you, how does one get a tab, Alex, at MIC? There's a I think there's a trading accountability buddy channel that you can say I'm looking for a tab. Or you can just post it into After Hours. And I'm pretty sure someone uh, – now that people see you, Amos, uh, on this, they're going to be one of your tab, man. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll sounds, tell you. Sounds good. I mean, I, I'm like – I'm pretty much in chat throughout the day, um, pre-market at the open, and then I, I'll stick around for After Hours. So, yeah, like if anyone ever needs to like hit me up, you could just send me a DM and then – Correct. Usually yeah, we have we have the Trading Accountability channel as well. But but yeah. but but even on top of trading, I mean, have you know that being in chat? I'm telling you, man, you 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 now it's like we, 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 we used to be bored. That's why we drink, right? We drink, we party, we bored. Now you're like, okay, at least I can log off to MIT. I can see what's going on, right? And people to talk to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- yeah. for for me, that's been a life changer, guys. Seriously, man, because I'm like without without these IG lives, without just the popping and say, hey, what's up? Sharing funny memes or jokes or. Yep. daily inspiration you know it's kind of like dude and so the it's next step just, is just good people good energy in mic yeah. so like yeah it's, hey it's amos we'll do this man is. i'll do this um if you want to throw a meetup where you are in new york brooklyn wherever you live where do you live uh over in new york somewhere right yeah yeah i mean i'm in queens but yeah manhattan uh brooklyn a- anywhere around new jersey hey man if you throw set up the meetup and we'll sponsor it man you know beers and pizza yeah. whatever you want to do you know, because I, I, I want you to meet people from New York as well because it's a lonely existence, man. And the best yeah. – so I, I, I told this – I said this earlier in the IG Live. You want to surround yourself with the people that you want to kind of become, right? right. If you hang out with a bunch of party animals, then you, you have no choice, right? So I, I go party, but I, I go. I don't want the party to come back to my house every day, right? <laughs> so things like that. And so um, you're doing very good in your life, man. I don't want you to go back to that lifestyle. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, if you want to meet, <laughs> if you want to meet nice people like yourself, that is goal oriented, that's just the best place to meet it is within MIC. So what meet up, meet them in person, so you get along. And and then all you guys out there, guys, everybody that's in MIC, that want to throw a meet up, we will sponsor it in your community. Okay, so set up what you need to set up and hit hit up meet myself and Alex. Okay, if you want to throw yeah. it, whatever you want, man. Just say, hey, man, we will help you promote it, we, you know, because we can't be over in New York all the time. Alex is near there. Um, if he has time, he'll go, but, you know, sometimes he doesn't. So, but it's, so it's okay for members. We want members to throw these events, and MIC will sponsor it. So keep that in mind, my friend. Maybe I can host it at uh, 235th rooftop as usual. Like, that's <laughs> Yeah. Do this it, bro. You guys usually do it. Do that, so, yeah. Let's do it. If you, so, work on it. You know, it's something fun for you, man. I mean, uh, the weather now is getting decent in New York, I think. So, you better use it before the, the winter comes and you're going to hibernate, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely before the winter, for sure. So. Yep. And we're going to do one in L.A. soon, too. So, before the winter comes. So, nice. hey, man. Thanks, Amos. Any last words for anybody else? Any, any encouraging, you know, because you, you've been there, man. You're, you're a true fucking success story. Uh, the only thing I would say is that um if you're going through like a bad situation in life look at it as a way to like grow and find strength in that bad situation uh because you know what if you can make it through that then trading should be easy for you you know like if you can handle uh some type of terrible 
uh, you know, like someone dies in your family or you, you go through some, just, just some bad situation in life, like the pandemic 2020, if you can make it through that, then, you know, trading, uh, keeping your discipline, keeping your risk management, that should be no problem for you. So. Yep. And I remember, uh, Amos, uh, he, you were going some tough times with your friends or personal member. You, 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 you DM me as well. So, yeah. so, I mean, this, this is the and community. Responded, I'm, so. Yeah. So, I mean, I, and this is, this is what it is, man. Cause sometimes I need to vent. So I reach out, you know, I talk, you, you see me, man. I, you know, I, I'm stupid too. You know, we're all family here, right guys? <laughs> I get drunk. I say stupid shit. And I, but you know what, man, that's, that's what life is about. You know, having the people that you trust. And so if you, I'm telling you, man, if you're, if you have trading has changed my life, not, 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 I'm not talking about financial. It's just yeah. the people that I've met being able to, sure. you know, do this. So MIC has definitely, you know, I met people like yourself, which inspires me every day, man. Every day I see, I'm like, oh man, look at Amos, man. <laughs> you know, cause I remember how we were back then too, bro. So, hey man, keep, keep it up. Anything you need, let us know, man. Thank you. That's freaking awesome. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Hey, hey hit, hit, uh, hit up Oliver. You get yourself some swag. I'll give you a hundred bucks of swag. So you can wear it all over in fucking Queens, bro. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Thank all right. Thanks, everybody. man. All right. Thanks, Amos. See you later. All right, guys. That was good. Um, so this is a great, next time we will do the same. So basically today's, today's moral, the story is this, guys. Surround yourself with the type of people you want to become. If you're hanging out with a bunch of um, people that just party, don't have their stuff together, you can still party, make sense? But, 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 but that should not be your main set of, of people you hang out with every single day. If you want to become like a serious trader or – or just anything in life that doesn't, you surround yourself with that. So with MIC, you surround yourself with the type of character that you want. You know, if you want to pump and dump, you join the discord room. That's fine. That is the person you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with a bunch of braggarts and like, look at my car. I mean, you know, things like that. You don't see us talking about our luxury cars and stuff, but it's okay. There's nothing wrong in life. My point being is like the point of this is this is how you get to become the person you want to become, guys. You surround yourself in that environment. If you want to become a day trader, surround yourself with day traders. So these guys that are not in chat rooms and they think I don't need anything from, from any chat room. The chat room itself, it may not necessarily teach you the technicals, but you surround yourself every day in that environment. You eventually by osmosis. You know, I look at that word, osmosis. You become that individual. If you hang out with a bunch of bodybuilders, you will start going to the gym. If you hang out with a bunch of <laughs> fat pigs like me, you end up being beat every day. But, you know, but you'll be a great trader or a great human being, things like that. If you hang out with a bunch of priests, you're going to become more religious. So you surround yourself with the person that you want to surround yourself with, guys. And that, to me, is the first step. Amos did that. When I first, when, remember Alex, man, we saw him at the club. He was drinking, he was partying, all that stuff. And it was like 3 a.m. And, you know, he, he had his whole life. He thought training was the cure to his problems. It was not. He needed to handle certain things in his life. He went back for, and got a job at Bank of America, saved up money, and now he's in a good place. And that's what everybody should do, guys. Everybody should. You know what, man? Training is not the is not the cure all, okay? But it, but if you want to trade, that is your goal, so that you can have a motivation to get to that goal. Amos's goal was to be able to become a day trader, so he sat down that in order to become a day trader, I need to get a job. I need to stop drinking. I need to stop partying with those guys. Tom Diesel wanted to become a day trader so badly, he had seven hundred dollars in his account. He could not afford it. So what he did was he drove an Uber at night so he could day trade in the morning. He drove an Uber, okay, making $100, whatever he made, 50 bucks. He saved every single penny so that he can become a day trader. And now he's, dude, Dave Tom is, Tom is a true successor from $700. I remember now he bought a house. He's, he's, he's on vacation. He's, you know, it, it's, you basically, you, it, I call it life by design, guys. That's the, that is the mode. That is what basically you should always think in your head. Life by design. I design my own life. How do you want to live your life, guys? It's okay to have a day job. I'm not saying anything. You can still 
have MIC for free by going to YouTube, watching these videos, and be motivated. You no, know, not everybody needs to be a, a day trader. Not everybody needs to be a full time day trader. You can have a job. My my advice to most people out there: stick to your day job and trade. Because trading, you don't need to trade much. Alex trades an hour. I I mean, I make a few thousand trading one hour. You know what I mean? But for for me, it's like I, I enjoy it. I teach people, so I. That's my life by design. My life by design is so that uh, everybody just leaves me alone and just let me do what I love, which is teaching people to trade and trade. And so that's why I'm in the room all the time. I don't have to deal with any membership stuff. I don't know the price of MIC, to be honest. Someone asked me how much is MIC pricing. Go talk to Tosh. And so that's, you know, that's my life by design, guys. So the first step for you guys to do is sit down, think about what you really want to do in life and create a goal to get there. Don't just say, I want to become a day trader. There are 10 steps before that, 20 steps. First step, okay, how you, how, you have to have money. Save the money, things like that, guys. This is not, you cannot become a day trader if you have no money. I'm sorry. You cannot trade with a dollar. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on next installment, but this has been a very good, good first, uh, first week back to the life coaching and trading. All right, guys, we'll see you back in the room. Yeah, go to the website, hit Tosh for information about membership. All right, guys, see ya.